The turn of the millennium marked a significant period of change and uncertainty, not just globally but also within various cultural spheres, including the vibrant world of K-pop. The Y2K phenomenon, with its vague-ass technological advancements and societal shifts, left an indelible mark on South Korea's music industry. This video explores the impact of Y2K on K-pop, tracing its evolution and examining how it shaped the genre into the global powerhouse it is today. For those who just jumped on the boat, let's discuss first things first. Y2K basically stands for year 2000. Yep, that's just it. But if we dig deeper, Y2K became a thing because back then, people actually thought of it as a threat. There was a fear that computers would break down when the year hit 2000 from 1999. Early computers were programmed in the dates of 19 and everyone was concerned if they are still going to function when we reach the year 2000. Long story short, we survived and here we are with more advanced technology. Culture and environment wise, the year the 2000s was actually the peak of what they called dot-com bubble, wherein it was the high time when money and investments on the internet became huge. It was also the time when lots of teenagers got to meet their coming of age. Skate culture was big and so was the fashion. There were no limits when it came to fashion. You'll see girls wearing baggy jeans and oversized shirts, and on the other side of the street, you'll also see girls wearing low-rise skirts, flared pants, and crop tops. There was no in-between. The early 2000s marked a transformative era in music, with RB and hip-hop dominating the charts and influencing genres worldwide. The Y2K trend in K-pop, notably influenced by early 2000s RB, seamlessly incorporated the sounds and styles of the era, creating a unique blend that resonated with fans globally. The evolution of K-pop can be traced back to groups like H.O.T., who adopted the new Jack Swing movement, a fusion of hip-hop and RB, popular in the 90s. This musical foundation laid the groundwork for the genre's future, influencing subsequent generations of K-pop artists. Y2K also witnessed the convergence of diverse musical genres, a trend reflected in K-pop's evolving sound. K-pop artists began experimenting with a fusion of electronic, hip-hop, and R&B elements, creating a dynamic sonic landscape that resonated with audiences worldwide. K-pop's collaborative spirit and openness to cross-cultural exchange have further enriched its musical landscape. Artists frequently collaborate with international producers and musicians, resulting in a fusion of global influences. Furthermore, K-pop's embrace of genre fusion has given rise to innovative subgenres and experimental projects, pushing the boundaries of musical conventions. In the contemporary K-pop landscape, several artists have embraced the Y2K style, infusing it with their own unique flair and contributing to its resurgence in the current era. One notable group is New Jeans whose members often incorporate E2K-inspired fashion into their music videos and stage performances. With their bold colors, playful accessories, and nostalgic references weaving R&B influences into their music, as evidenced in hits like Attention, Hype Boy, and Ditto. Their style and sound pay homage to the RB girl groups of the late 90s and early 2000s, showcasing the deep-rooted influence of black music culture on K-pop. New Jeans channels the spirit of the early 2000s while maintaining a modern edge. Additionally, solo artists like Sunmi have embraced the Y2K aesthetic in their music and visuals. Sunmi's music videos often feature retro-inspired fashion and visuals reminiscent of the Y2K era, capturing the essence of that time while adding a contemporary twist. Through her music and style, Sunmi pays homage to the nostalgia of the early 2000s while reinventing it for a new generation of fans. Furthermore, the group ITZY has also embraced the Y2K aesthetic in their music videos and promotional activities. With their vibrant colors, eclectic fashion choices, and energetic performances, ITZY captures the playful spirit of the early 2000s while adding a contemporary twist. Through their music and visuals, ITZY celebrates the nostalgia of the Y2K era while appealing to a new generation of fans. In conclusion, K-pop's dynamic evolution through genre fusion has solidified its position as a global phenomenon captivating audiences worldwide with its diverse and innovative sound. The Y2K era was characterized by its distinctive fashion trends and aesthetics, which heavily influenced K-pop's visual identity. From vibrant colors to futuristic elements, K-pop adopted Y2K-inspired styles, enhancing its appeal to a global audience. 
music videos became elaborate productions, incorporating futuristic themes and cutting-edge visual effects, further solidifying K-pop's status as a cultural phenomenon. Y2K-inspired fashion in K-pop encompasses bright colors, metallic fabrics, and playful accessories, reflecting the optimism of the era. Artists blend past and present trends, from chunky sneakers to glossy makeup, creating a nostalgic yet contemporary look. These aesthetics extend beyond clothing to hairstyles, makeup, and visual presentations. Music videos and performances often feature elaborate sets and futuristic props, evoking the spirit of the Y2K era while showcasing K-pop's creativity. In summary, Y2K aesthetics have left a lasting impact on K-pop fashion, contributing to its vibrant and eclectic style. Through bold colors, futuristic elements, and nostalgic references, K-pop continues to push boundaries and captivate audiences with its innovative approach to fashion and aesthetics. For most, the resurgence of Y2K style in K-pop is marked by the debut of new jeans with their song attention. Y2K is back, you know? I'm dressed like my pink hood on me today. Yeah. Shout out to new jeans. I know. Yeah. I think they did Uncle it. Like, fan right here. Yo, how did they like blow up? Like, I don't know. Because their music. Because it was just the perfect. The music, the concept, the, concept, the, visuals, the visuals, every visual everything. Y2K like, fashion. Yeah. They just came out. They just... Oh. Which showcased a vibrant revival of early 2000s fashion trends like bold colors, crop tops, and platform shoes, but Y2K in the industry has long been revived way before New Jeans debuted, although one cannot deny that they made it more known. This era's aesthetic, characterized by a mix of oversized clothing, mini skirts, and maximalist accessories, not only brings back the nostalgic vibes of the late 90s and early 2000s, but also highlights the dynamic influence of Y2K fashion on today's pop culture. The distinctive blend of Y2K fashion, including low-rise jeans, micro minis, and chunky footwear, has become a stylistic hallmark in the genre, reflecting both an homage to and an evolution of early 2000s music and fashion aesthetic. As K-pop groups continue to embrace and reinterpret E2K fashion trends, they're contributing to a global fashion revival that intertwines with musical innovation. This fusion not only impacts fans worldwide by offering a diverse palette of aesthetic outfits, but also narrates the history of Y2K fashion through modern performances. From translucent clothing to futuristic and retro fashion trends, K-pop is now at the forefront of showcasing how Y2K clothes, indie aesthetic outfits, and trendy jeans are shaping the narrative for the next generation of fashion and music enthusiasts. The Y2K era served as a catalyst for K-pop's transformation into a global phenomenon, shaping its music, aesthetics, and cultural impact. From embracing technological advancements to fusing diverse musical genres, K-pop evolved in tandem with the changing socio-cultural landscape of the early 2000s. As we reflect on the legacy of Y2K and K-pop, it becomes evident that this period of innovation and experimentation laid the foundation for K-pop's unprecedented rise to prominence on the world stage.